Let's talk about CarMax though here this morning. Shares of CarMax, yeah, uh, halting or hitting the brakes. They are down mm. following its latest quarterly results. The used car retailer reporting a massive miss on earnings as car sales slide and expenses rise here. And, and there's a lot to break down within CarMax's results. We're seeing shares down here early in trade by about 16%. Uh, and particularly, they talked about some of the combined retail and wholesale used vehicle unit sales 376,616. That's a decrease of 10% from the prior year's second quarter. Online retail sales, they also did account for about 11% of retail unit sales. But I think it really comes back to how much consumers are now starting to push back against the prices for the used cars that CarMax and some of the other uh, major used car retailers are trying to put on their lots. Uh, it's also an inventory problem yeah. at who they're selling to. Mm. Because it looks like used vehicle sales were actually up 2.9% ahead of estimates. But to your point, the wholesale vehicles are falling, which means that the inventory backup at whoever they're selling to means that they don't want to buy any more cars. So that that seems like a pretty straightforward issue for them, right? Well, you're still, I think, seeing with this quarter in, in CarMax, and we're also seeing pressure uh, uh, here on, on Carvana and, and AutoNation because now the expectations are that the both of those companies will have challenging quarters. If you bought a car during the pandemic, yeah. right in the middle of the pandemic, you do not need any the car. You're still probably paying off the car you bought from a Carvana or a CarMax or an AutoNation. So right. I think that's what you're seeing here. In this quarter. And the interesting thing too is the number of now new or used car owners that are now saying to themselves, well, well if they're going to give me even more money than what I paid for this vehicle just so that they can turn around and resell it, then you know I, I might as well at least listen to the offer that they're putting on the table. And that's a considerable part of CarMax's business, especially when you've got as much money as you do going out the door to acquire some of those vehicles. Then it becomes around, then, then it becomes about that churn and how quickly you're actually moving through that inventory. And at these prices, that's where the exact pushback is from some of those consumers. Right. Too. And one more point on this. We talk a lot about interest rates with regard to housing. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the effect on the cars, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So this has got to be biting too. Third party finance fees for the company um, below estimates at $2.7 million. So um, not just the finance fees, but just in, as indicative of what we are seeing in terms of financing, that it is costing you more to get the same car. Right. Even if, the, even if the sticker price of the car doesn't change, even if the sticker price of the car goes down mm. and the price that you're paying for that car goes down, you still could end up being paying more on a monthly basis because interest rates have gone up. So that's got to hurt. Yeah. That's a great point.